Hello YouTube. Today I'm making pastalaya. Uh, it's a Cajun dish. The Cajuns say it a little bit differently than how we say it. But uh, you're going to need about 8 to 10 ounces each of acute pork. Um, take a large boneless chicken breast or you can use any type of chicken you want and cube it up. And you're going to need about 8 to 10 ounces, say so just one link of sausage, and cut it up. You're going to add, the original recipe calls for uh, frying bacon, and you remove the bacon and use all the bacon fat to cook the meat in. I don't really want that much fat in my dish, so when we cook bacon, we dilute it down by 50 to 60 percent olive oil. That way you still get the flavor of the bacon fat, but you're not getting all the high concentrated fat from the bacon grease. You're going to start out by adding the bacon fat to your instant pot. Put it on saute and when it says it's hot you're going to add your pork first. You're going to cook your pork till it's good and brown. You're going to see that it looks like it's burning in the bottom of the pot. That's alright. It's going to come out later. That's like it's making your gravy while you're cooking your meats. So brown your pork first, take it out, do your chicken next, and then last do your sausage. When you get through cooking the sausage, I took my tongs and a paper towel and soaked up all the grease from the sausage. That way you don't have all that extra fat in your in your dish. You don't need it for it to cook. I had to make my own season blend today because Hurricane Harvey has hit and there was no season blend in the store so I cut up uh, three or four onions a couple of peppers and a stalk of celery and just made a lot of season blend and I re reserved a couple of cups I usually use green onions in this but we didn't couldn't get any at the store so this is what we use today after you've taken your meat out you're gonna take about a cup of your six cup, I mean a half a cup of your six cups of chicken broth you're going to add it to the bottom of the pan and add your season blend in with it to cook it. As you see, when I'm stirring this around, it's removing every bit of all that burn-on baked on in the bottom of the Instant Pot. So your pot's not ruined. It's cleaned. You may still need to do I'll show you a little trick at the end on how to get the food odors out of your pot. And... Uh, after you've cooked your season blend for about five or ten minutes, um, you want it wilted, you want the, the celery to be somewhat tender because you're not going to cook it that long in the on the pressure cycle, it only cooks five or six minutes. The seasoning mix that I used is to season the pot with is a tablespoon of Tony Sachery's then a teaspoon each of black pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, and paprika. You could also add some cayenne to this, but the Tony Sachery's is pretty hot and it really doesn't need it. You're going to add the remaining of your six cups of the chicken broth to the pot after your season blend is done and stir it in. Add seasonings, the dry seasoning mix. I added probably about five teaspoons total then I took some angel hair pasta and broke it in half and added it to the pot. What you'll want to do is kind of press your pasta down in the juice a little bit if you can. Don't worry about if you open the pot and it's all stuck together. You just keep continue stirring it and it'll all break apart and come together right. At this time when you um, you'll put your lid on the pressure pot and you're going to pressure it on high for five minutes. Usually pasta is only cooked for half of the time that it says on the package. But two or three minutes I just didn't think would be enough so I did it a minimum of five minutes on high pressure. I did a five minute natural pressure release then opened the pot and stirred it up. At this time you can taste it and see if it needs any more salt, pepper, whatever seasoning the way you like it add it to it. This is an easy dish to fix. It's uh, 
Real important that, like I said, you let the meat brown and form that brown texture in the bottom of the pot. That is the seasoning and the, the thickness and the brown part of this dish. It's almost like I said, it's making its own gravy. Hope you enjoy it. This is the Pressured Prepper, and I'm out.